Hi, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, I want to show you this absolutely phenomenal guitar. Uh, it is the from the Expert series uh, from FGN. Now, this is hugely relevant, this guitar, uh, because as soon as I... Well, first of all, look at it. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in artificial light, so unfortunately you can't really see just how extraordinary this guitar is because I can see that that is not um, showing the colours very well at all. It's a satin finish, that's a solid um, AAA maple top on there, and that's a solid maple cap, uh, there's, the, there's the capping on it, and um, mahogany uh, back, which uh, looks like a single piece of mahogany, and um, fretwork. The fretwork on these guitars are abs. This is this is what they are known for. Uh, the frets are just absolutely extraordinary. I'm not quite sure if that's going to pick up the fretwork on there. If you look at the fret ends, the fret ends are just unbelievable. The the shine on these frets, you could you could look. You know, it's like a mirror. I'm I'm just not sure how well that's coming out in this light because it's all overexposed and whatever else. Um, but there you go, that's, um, it's the FGN Expert. Oh yeah, sorry, I just banged the microphone, so. <laughs> probably, that's probably not very good. So uh, yeah, an FGN Expert Rise model. And um, the reason why this is so relevant is, the, as soon as I saw this guitar, and as soon as I heard it, which is really bizarre, because these guitars I'm thinking about were, I think were sort of late 80s, um, certain, or early, yeah, late 80s, I'm sure, mid 80s, and it was called the, Ibe, the, the, the early Ibanez Artist guitar. I had one, and it was absolutely, utterly gorgeous, and it's one of the few guitars that I ever wish I hadn't sold. And um, I got it as a trade-in in, in the early days at the shop, in my, in my uh, early days. And um, I, I really wish I hadn't sold it. And this is the first guitar that I have picked up that has made me feel like I've got that guitar in my hands. Similar kind of shape, very similar kind of concept, um, twin humbucker. Um, but it's, it's so hard to, there's so many guitars that have twin humbuckers. So what makes a guitar feel a certain way? I, if I knew, uh, obviously the fretwork is insane, it's incredible, but the tone of the guitar and the balance and the weight and, and the feel of the neck, the fretboard itself, there are so many combinations of factors that come together and you go, ooh, this is special, this is something really, really lovely. And this guitar just makes me, makes me want to play blues. sound but it is just effortless to play and the sound that comes out of it is incredible what is the connection this is made in a factory called Fuji Gen Fuji Gen has a long long illustrious history of making the finest guitars in kind of production methods you know high volume um, but they are the top top end of anything you're going to get in terms of production guitars. Um, their history goes back to making the early uh, Fender guitars. When Fender in the, um, oh when was it, in the 70s, early 80s, um, CBS, I, want, I don't want to get my history all mixed up here, but um, Fender sold uh, out to CBS and there was the kind of 70s period where the quality just went through the floor. Um, Fender then started having guitars being uh, copied uh, under, uh, like Tokai's were copying, um, which were made in Japan. Now I'm not sure whether the Japanese Tokai's were made by Fuji Gen. I'm not sure. I don't necessarily think so. But Fender's own guitars, I'm pretty certain, were made by Fuji Gen. The early Japanese Fenders were Fuji Gen. Someone will pick me up on the history on that, and I've got uh, a few people I know who can tell me I haven't really bothered studying <laughs> that particular part of history to the degree. But I know that Fuji Gen has been making all these kind of original classic guitars um, and then they've gone through to making now the, the current sort of Ibanez prestige guitars. 
there are many, many, many guitars that Fuji Gen have been associated with at the very highest levels of quality. So um, they really are the, the where you go if you want the very best out of Japanese. Everyone talks about mid, made in Japan. Well, it's it's Fuji Gen that everyone talks about. That is what it. That is the Fuji Gen factory that is where you get the real high end quality from. Um, so um, yeah, so this is an example of it, and of course. The top, the Ibanez that I had, the Ibanez Artist, that would have been a Fuji Gen produced guitar. So there, there is this kind of common link between these two guitars that not only do they kind of look similar, but they feel similar and they just have this awesome quality feel and sound. Listen to that. It, how do you put your finger on the. There's just something about that, just. It's so sweet, so creamy. Um, and on the back finger, there's still this kind of lush. Look at the way the dynamics. Oh, Someone's going to tell me off now, but you know, I play the guitar for quite a while and I don't have a tuner with me, and then I get some bitch just saying, Tune your guitar, it's unprofessional, <laughs> which it is obviously, but. sensitive to all those nasty little people out there. That's close, isn't it? Listen to that. Listen to that ring, that dynamic. See, that's a, that's a great example of a mahogany body guitar with a great pickup. That is tone control all off. That is full, full tone. It's not biting and it's not got that kind of real, I mean, if that's a telecaster, that'd be biting your ear off. That's got this smooth, even though it's a back pickup, it's kind of meaty still, but, but it's still got a, a, it's got substance, but it's not too soft around the edges either. Absolutely exquisite. Um, what do they call them? Expert series. In every single way, that is just a flawless guitar. That is just a class, class instrument. And I just wish I did it in natural daylight. But it's late at night, and I, I haven't had time, so I wanted to get this done. This is actually going out to a customer, and he said he didn't mind if I did a. I uh, didn't mind if I just did a review on it before before um, it went out, so I just wanted to get it done because I don't want to delay the customer any further. So um, I hope you like that one. Okay, so um, that gives you an, ex an example of Fuji Gen at their finest. Okay, cheers, see you, bye.